and I'm happy to be back because the den survived the winter pretty well and you know hopefully we'll get some good shooting videos done for you this year I wanted to let you know that I've been having trouble with YouTube and I, I guess everybody has all the gun guys uh, as I record this about a week ago we had that big New Zealand shooting and I don't know if YouTube is responding to that or what they've developed some new acronyms or not acronyms some new algorithms and uh, in the last week they went through my videos and they demonetized over a hundred of them and I've gone back and asked for a manual review and so far they've reviewed 63 of them and 21 of them they monetized again sorry you know here you go uh, but 42 of them they reviewed so far they said nope this doesn't meet our standards and I just want you to know this is crazy I mean the stuff they're rejecting is like flintlock build videos and, and what's crazy is they'll say that two of the videos in the build series say for the York County rifle fine put ads on them then they'll say five more no good that this violates our standards here at YouTube and how can it possibly be true <laughs> you know I mean it's just crazy and this you have no way to really go back and get a hearing with them or talk to people and find out exactly what they're basing it on uh, they just won't let you won't let you talk to them so a lot of people say to me hey why don't you get off of YouTube and go somewhere gun friendly and, and I just want you to know because you know I'm sure a lot of you just don't understand the economics of the mechanics of that but that just doesn't work uh, I'm already on full 30 and I love those guys and I would say that's the best uh, gun-based video platform there is and yet I get a tiny bit of the views on full 30 that I get on YouTube I mean less than a tenth uh, and, and if it wasn't for a, a very generous loyalty contract I have with full 30 I really would have no business being there because I can't make any money uh, even even with taking 25% of my videos and making them non money earning. See, when they demonetize them, what that means is you can still watch them just like you always could, but they won't run ads on them, which means you can watch them, but I don't make any money. And maybe you think making money is crass, but I'll tell you, powder and ammo and Duelist Den, which I bought specifically for doing this, they don't give that away you know we're not socialist America yet right I've got to pay for all that stuff and it makes it tough but even with all the cuts I still make more off of YouTube by a lot than I make off of full 30 uh, so you know some of these other little platforms that people will tell you about there's no point in going to them and, and the way I described this to somebody the other day is let's pretend that I am a television program producer and that I have a popular series on the CBS network here in the United States. And we're running along very happy with CBS. And then one day they come in and they arbitrarily change our contract and cut our revenue down. Okay, well, the people who are telling me to get off YouTube, that's just like saying that I should take my series off of CBS and put it on a public access channel in Minot, North Dakota, because they would be happy to have me. That's crazy. <laughs> You'd be bankrupt in five seconds, right? So there's no point in me going to some little video platform. Uh, even with YouTube treating us gun guys like crap, it's still a better platform for us. Uh, and because Google controls the search engine, when you put videos on other platforms, if somebody wants to search for, let's say, Lamat Revolvers, which is very popular right now because Red Dead Redemption Online is coming out with a Lamat, I guess. How do I know this? Because I have two Lamat videos and the viewership is spiking on those from Red Dead Redemption fans. Uh, but those Red Dead Redemption fans would never find that same video that's on Full 30 because Google won't let those results come up. Right? So, so YouTube's still the place we gotta be. Uh, and YouTube's not treating us like crap because they hate guns. I mean, they probably do hate guns, 
but that's not why they're doing it. Because YouTube is all about making money. And they're afraid that advertisers will leave them because of other liberal groups that start boycotts because of gun videos and things like that. And that's why they've done all of this. It's got nothing to do with being liberals. It has everything to do with making money. So don't hate them. Hate those groups that go out and do manufacturers and advertisers boycotts. Uh, because those are the real culprits in all of this. But I just want you to know what's going on. I mean, I'm staying... Uh, I'm staying on YouTube. If you can support me on Patreon, I would really appreciate it. Uh, because that's really the only way I'm making money off of YouTube these days, when, when you come right down to it. Uh, and that lets me keep going. and lets me do the things like I'm out here doing at Duelist Den today. right? So, uh, I appreciate all the support that everybody's given me. And uh, I just want you to know that... Uh, and you probably, if you watch other gun channels, you know this, the screws are being tightened down. And, you know, we just got to see where YouTube's going with this. But uh, it seems like every week I have a huge swath of my work that's being demonetized. And then occasionally it's just being struck, banned outright, uh, when they think it's real nasty. And, you know, if you've watched my videos for any length of time, <laughs> if they think my stuff violates their standards... Holy smokes, man, I don't know how any of the other gun channels can survive because I'm probably the most mild gun channel that there is, right? I mean, it's almost all historical stuff, so uh, it's just a tough time right now in the vlogosphere for us gun guys. So, thanks for listening to me rant. I'm going to go off and shoot, make a gun video for you now.